I Lubo Myra Sarovic 29. Okay, maybe she shouldn't read the names. <laughs> Will you also come to Europe? If so, where? What? That Just sounds like the floor is scratching. Uh, will you also come to Europe? If so, where? Yes, coming to Europe. Is the UK Europe? Still unsure. We're going to the UK. That's going to be our first stop in June. We're going to hit Moto 101, Flackwell Heath. We were actually looking at flights for that today, but those are booked. Moto 101 is already sold out. Then we're going to go to the plan is what? Spain? So that's Italy. in June. Is Spain the UK. and Italy are locked in. So UK is June. Yes. And, and then, then August into se like beginning of September is Spain. I thought it was Spain, France, and Italy. Well, yeah, France isn't locked in yet. We're working on Italy it. Italy and Spain. Italy and Spain are locked. I would say if you guys have any, um, just because I am obviously in all these chats where Hannah's trying to set up the tour dates, if you guys have recommendations on good tracks in Europe that are actually in convenient locations for people to get to, not just AJ, but other people as well, that you know will sell well. Let us know. If we you're really inside the app, strong, message Hannah. We're going to do three. Allie and Millie are going to come with me. We're doing three dates in August, September. And like I said, the first two, and we need a solid third track. And I don't think people realize one tracks in Europe, their rental fees are like extremely high. Yeah. So not only are you paying for an international flight plus rental car plus hotel, then you're paying for these track fees that are like yeah, insanely crazy. Astronomical compared to the track fees in the United States. I think that has to do with the cost of diesel there. Oh, that would make sense. But um, still. To like, run the equipment. That much more? That's. I think it is that much more. Thousands more. I think it's quite a bit more. To, yes, I think fuel is expensive. But yeah, their track rentals are expensive. So we got Rocco's in Spain. We've got Dorno, MX Dorno in Italy, which are two heavy hitter tracks. I'm sure that both of those will sell really well. We need a strong third one. Could be in any country in Europe. Let us know. Yeah, let us know. Oops, well, Switzerland doesn't have tracks, though, does it? I don't know. I was going to say, can it be in Switzerland? Maybe Austria or Germany? That'd be cool. If you guys enjoyed this podcast clip and you want to listen to full episodes, make sure you go download them on Spotify and Apple Music. If you want to watch full episodes or be a person that sends in your own video submission, go to club.themotoacademy.com and subscribe to join the Moto Academy family today.